I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on inverse of a function. Question number 16 is find inverse of f of x equals to x square minus 2x plus 2 where x is less than or equal to 1. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So whenever you are given a function with boundary conditions it is a good idea to look into the function write its domain and range so we are given f of x as equals to x square minus 2x plus 2 where x is less than or equal to 1 now this is a quadratic equation standard form to find inverse it is necessary to do what? Complete the square and write it in vertex form. So let's change the form first, right? So we have x square minus 2x. If you don't change it to vertex form, you actually cannot find inverse since there are two different x terms, right? So half of 2 is 1, so we'll add and subtract 1 square. Is it okay? And we have plus 2 here. The first three terms will form a perfect square, right? These three terms form a perfect square. So we can write them as x minus 1 whole square. And then we have minus 1 plus 2, right? These two terms. And that gives us x minus 1 whole square plus 1. So let me this, uh, let me sketch this function for you. So what we have here is We have a parabola and remember the domain is x less than or equal to 1. Very important to understand. It has vertex at 1, 1, right? So the vertex is at 1, 1. Let's say that's the vertex for us. It opens up with steps of 1, 3, 5, 7, right? So it is 1 here. So next time it will be at 2. This will be the point. So the graph of this function could be sketched as let me sketch a dotted graph first okay since x is less than or equal to 1 we are only considering the left side of this graph that's important to understand Do you understand so that is what we mean this is the part which is of our interest is it okay Correct? So, x less than or equal to 1. We're trying to find its inverse. So, when you try to find inverse, you have to reflect the graph on y equals to x. What do you expect? You expect a square root function, correct, which of this, so only one arm, do you see that? You expect this to be a square root function which is kind of opening like this, of course, correct? So this point is 0, 2, it just becomes at 2, is it okay? This is invariant point 1, 1. So that is the inverse of your function. This is inverse of the function. Now I have sketched all this to make you understand how to write inverse of a function when conditions are given, especially for the domain, correct? So what we have got here is a parabola, and we are only considering the left arm of the parabola, not the whole thing, since x is less than or equal to 1. Perfect. And now, let's find inverse, right? Now let's find inverse. To find inverse, we swap x and y. So we can write this as x equals to y minus 1 whole square plus 1, bringing 1 this side, x minus 1 equals to y minus 1 whole square. Now remember one thing here, let me add that also before I move forward. What we observed here is that x is less than 1, but what is the value of y? y is, I mean, y is greater than or equal to 1. Correct? This is 1. So that's the restriction. So when x is less than or equal to 1, y is greater than or equal to 1. Very clear 
vertex is at 1 1 graph opens upwards parabola opens upwards now if you find the inverse then in inverse what do you expect these will change so for inverse x should be greater than that becomes the x value greater than or equal to 1 and y will become this this swap so if for inverse we swap right x and y is it okay so the domain and range also swaps this is very important to understand so let's move forward right okay so we swap x and y and therefore earlier it was y equals to all this instead of y we are writing x instead of x we are writing y and now we'll solve for y correct now this is square root x minus 1 we do square root both sides equals to y minus 1 square root of square is y minus 1 now since x is less than 1 and whenever we do square root, we actually write both positive and negative, right? We actually write positive and negative. However, since we are considering the domain of x less than 1, we are looking only for the negative half, not the positive half. So we'll write negative here. Now that is very, very critical to understand. Do you get the idea? Okay. And now we can solve for y. Bringing 1 on this side, we have minus square root of x minus 1 plus 1 is equal to y. Look here. So, so let me write down the inverse which we have got from all this. So we can write f inverse of x is equal to minus square root of x minus 1 plus 1. Now look at your inverse function. Does it match with the equation? It does, right? So if I write x as equals to 1, this part is 0, and we are, we are at 1. If I write x equals to 2, right? If I write 2, then we get 2 minus 1 as 1. This is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0, right? And accordingly, we can get other points. And you can also see here that for this particular function, what is the domain? inside part should always be non-negative right so so x is greater than or equal to one as far as range is concerned you can see y is less than or equal to one as expected do you see that so it's very important in quadratic equations whenever you are given restriction that is reflected at this stage so when you do square root, which sign to take, right? So important. So let me write a note here. Check sign for square root. If you don't do that, you will end up with the wrong answer. Perfect. So it's very important. That's why I've taken this test question for you. I hope that helps. I'm Adil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. And if you like, you can put your like here. Thank you and all the best.